So today we're going to start off with a separable differential equation. And to see why it's separable, I rewrote it in this way. So you can see how you can multiply by dx's or dy's to get the y's on one side and the x's on the other. So you can integrate. So what we're going to do is divide this whole thing over here and, and divide by this over here and move this dx over here. So you can do 1 minus y squared square root divided by dy equals one half times dx over the square root of x. Now it's a simple task of integrating so what you could do take the integral of dy one minus this y squared square root equals one half the integral dx over square root of x. Now this could be re rewritten, which I like rewriting it this way so it's easier to integrate. It's uh, one half the integral x to the negative one half dx. And from there you could write the general solution. So if you remember your, uh, your identity for this integral, this equals sine to negative one y inverse sine which equals you add one to the exponent which is uh, one ha uh, three halves or negative three half no you add one that's one half my bad if you add one that's one half divided by the new exponent that's just one half divided by one half that's one so it's x to the one half plus c now you can stop here if you want to but um, probably most teachers want you to solve for a function of a, a y of x. So what you have to do is move this sign over here such that you get y of x. That's a function of x is strictly x on this side uh, and strictly y on this side. So you get sine square root of x plus c. I rewrote this back to a square root. So that is your general solution and you could so that's your general solution and you could um, subscribe to my channel if you want more problems done.